All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urrutia here, and I'm going to go over Unit 3, Lesson 5, Practice Problem Number 1, okay? So we'll start off first by reading the problem. A restaurant offers delivery fee for their pizzas. The total cost is a delivery fee added to the price of the pizzas. One customer pays $25 to have two pizzas delivered. Another customer pays $58 for five pizzas. How many pizzas are delivered to a customer who pays $80. If you note here, I already underlined some things here. Underlined in pink is right here. There is a delivery fee added to the price of the pizza. The delivery fee, you only pay it one time. So you buy two pizzas, you pay the delivery fee one time. You buy five pizzas, you pay the delivery fee once. You buy 20 pizzas, you pay the delivery fee once. Now here we have two pizzas cost $25. Five pizzas cost $58. And our question here, what we need to find is how many pizzas are delivered to a customer who pays $80? Okay, now this relationship, what we're seeing in this lesson is that <clears throat> this is not proportional. You're going to see right now why this is not proportional. I set up these two division problems, 25 divided by 2 and 58 divided by 5 from those numbers that are in the problem. When I do the division, 25 divided by two, I get 1250. When I do the other division, 58 divided by five, I get 1160. And I want you to see here, these are not the same price. So there is no unit rate. There is no um, <clears throat> constant of proportionality. So this is not proportional. We cannot use a multiplying pattern to find the number. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a table of values. Okay, this left one will be pizza. The right column will be dollars. And I'm going to write the numbers that I know. I know two pizzas are $25. And five pizzas are $58. And so what I want to see here in the table is when I... How many pizzas am I adding and how much is the price adding? So right here, I'm adding three pizzas. When I add three pizzas, it adds $33. What these numbers here that I wrote in the orange are telling me is that when I add three pizzas, I add $33. So if I want to do the next three, it would be eight pizzas. How much would that add to the price? It would add $33. 58 plus 33 is $91, okay? And if I add three more pizzas here, that would be 11 pizzas. I would add 33 more here, which is $124. So what I wanna do is take these numbers here in the orange and calculate what it is for one pizza. So I know thirty-three pizza, $33 is three pizzas. I can divide this out both by three and I get one pizza is $11. Now this is not including the delivery fee. So the numbers that are written in orange are not including the delivery fee. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this and when I continue the table, right? If I do add one more pizza, that's gonna make that six pizzas. This is going plus one. On this side, I'm going to add plus 11, which gives me 69 pizzas. If I continue the table, and add one pizza here, I'm going to also add $11 here. So I'm going to do 69 plus 11, which is $80. So now here is the answer to the question, which is how many pizzas is there for $80? Seven pizzas. So the main thing to notice here in this problem is this, that we cannot just multiply because the multi a multiplying pattern does not work. So I made a table and found this part here that three pizzas is $33. Then I divided that out to find the price of one pizza. These numbers here in orange are not including the delivery fee. Then I can do that to know every time I add one pizza, I add $11. And I can continue the table and keep going. I stopped here at seven pizzas because the question is asking me for $80, which comes out to seven pizzas. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.